The last case was Twombly. This is Iqbal. They are together called Twickball. That's, that's their special little name. So this guy gets detained post 9-11. And uh, this plaintiff comes in. He's armed only with conclusions. And he's not getting discovery. They're called Twickball because they kind of come together to put a lot more pressure on complaints to point out you need to be having real claims, real good, strong evidence, of, you know, at least try to. And um, the allegations, you know, they accuse the defendant um, of acting because of the effect of their actions on a given race, not in spite of, right? And they have no evidence of this, right? Uh, when it comes to a discrimination case, right, you need to prove, or at least in some discrimination cases, you need to prove that when you did that, you know, when, when they did that, they were trying to discriminate, right? When, um, when a lot of people got arrested post 9-11, which is what this case is about, they were mostly Muslims. Let's not be controversial here. Uh, everyone involved in 9-11 was a Muslim, an Arab Muslim. Anyone who might have been associated with them was probably an Arab Muslim. There were some Sudanese Muslims who were a little darker, but then those guys weren't super involved. And there's a lot of evidence that Al Qaeda didn't like African Americans, or in this case, just actual, you know, sub Saharan dark Africans. But you know, we'll leave that for another time. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's no way to do an investigation into a terrorist attack performed by Arab Muslims without affecting more Arab Muslims, right? If there is a shooting in a neighborhood that is 90% white and it's between two white people, or, you know, the white person who got shot is a white person, I promise you almost everyone interviewed is going to be white. Maybe everyone interviewed is going to be white and the suspect's probably white and all that stuff, right? It's go So there can be racial impacts to investigations, to laws, to all these things, right? And you need to prove that they actually were trying to do a racist thing, um, not just that there was an outsized impact on one race or another, um, because every single law does. There's no way not to, right? You change the tax code, well, you know, the average wealth of different races is in different tax brackets. That could be considered racist. Um, I would say it is, if you're going to consider anything else racist, if you're going to say that a law that's put in place neutral, that is neutral in language, but has racial impacts, I think it's pretty much impossible to deny that every law is going to look like that, right? I promise you, you know, white people are taxed at a higher rate than black people. Is that racist? No. No, it's not. That's not the intent of the law. Um, so, you know, and this also came in and said, Twombly, it's not just limited to antitrust or conspiracy or anything like that. It's all actions, right? Limited discovery, it's not getting over this. You have to allege facts, not just conclusions. You know, there are other rational reasons for his policy, right? His claims weren't plausible, right? Um, and plausibility is based on common sense, right? It wasn't plausible, his claim that, you know, oh, well, you know, they were discriminating against Muslims. It's, I mean, it, it is plausible, right? It's definitely a plausible option of what was happening. It's almost certainly kind of what was happening. But at the same time, while they were discriminating against Muslims, almost certainly, there's also no way they couldn't have not, right? They could have been less open about it. In his case, he was alleging that some of the guards were saying some slurs, which is also not evidence that the law was impacted, was enacted with an attempt to be racist, right? Um, so it, it, it's complicated, <laughs> at least on the, on the policy end, but the, the actual legal stuff here is pretty simple, right? You have to allege facts, not just conclusions. Right. If you're saying they did something for a particular reason, you better have some evidence. Get a witness. So that's 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 uh, that's Iqbal versus Ashcroft.